Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the videos, and we've got another vlog for you today, and today it's a lot of new stuff, so I'm getting a lot of new stuff coming through, so uh, I'm obviously vaping away on the Avenger here, but I do have a new mod, now it's been a while since I've actually got a new mod, I think the Pulsar 80 was the last one, which I've still not reviewed, uh, but I will do a review on that at some point, but this is the new mod, yes it is a squonker, this is the Hades which is a resin squonker so the whole thing's made of resin and on top it's come with a dead rabbit now this is actually a clone dead rabbit on top I know it's a clone because it's different to my actual dead rabbit it's also not got any of the markings underneath but it's actually a really good clone and it's nice and matchy matchy it's got a nice matchy drip tip on there and it's actually quite a good little mod uh, so far I'm enjoying it it only came in yesterday so I'm still working around with it And it is quite nice, a uh, nice squishy squonk bottle there, really, really soft silicon going on. A couple of little issues with it. Um, there's no indication on the inside showing what way the batteries to go down, so I figured that out. There's also no pull tab, so you see I've got this here. This is a bit of insulating tape that I've wrapped around the battery, so I can just pull it out nice and easy. And also, you can see there's a magnet there. Uh, there's not one in there, that's because the magnet from this side keeps popping out, so I need a, bit, a little bit of glue to go on there and pop and sort that out so I'll get that sorted and there will be a full review on this mod possibly on the dead rabbit but this is a clone dead rabbit so I'm not sure if I'll do a review on a clone but this has come in uh, I do like the feel of it it does feel really nice with the resin it's really really light because of that as well uh, it's a nice pocket size it's a single 18650 spot mod so fairly standard but I do like the look of it with the resin there it does look pretty funky it's mostly blue and white and there's a bit of green in there you can kind of see the green through the back there and it's nice it does exactly what it's expected and the dead rabbit clone is pretty close to a dead rabbit flavor so I'm quite liking that now the guy who actually sent me this uh, it was an eBay purchase, but the guy does his own juices and stuff as well, so he actually sent me a couple of bottles of juice to try. So I've got a caramel biscuit that he's made up, and also a skull cap. Uh, both of these I will be reviewing, so that's a couple of juices that I'm going to be reviewing. But I've got quite a lot of other juice that's come in, so I'm going to go through all the juices that have come in, and we'll just go over where they've come from and what I'm going to do with them. So the first group of juices are from Nova Vapes. Now Nova Vapes, I have done reviews on their juices before. And they do a weekly deal. And this deal came up uh, a week or so ago where it was the Ice Juice Pack. And I hadn't tried any of these juices, so I thought I'd try it. £15 for a full bottle, so I'd give it a bash. And I got a couple of bottles of Graham's Custard at the same time. Because if you have an order over £15, pounds, uh, then it's free postage. And this was like 14.98 or something. So I was just under, or 13.98. So I was just under. So the four juices that came in, we've got a strawberry lemonade ice. So these all have that sort of ice through them, which is really nice in the hot weather. So we've got strawberry lemonade ice, mango lychee ice, uh, pina colada ice, and finally a grape ice. So we've got four bottles here. These are all the uh, 50ml short fills, I've made them up to 3ml nick, uh, I've let them steep for a little bit and uh, start to colour up a bit. I have sampled each of them and I do quite like them all, but I've not done a full sort of taste on them yet, I've not run them through, I've not done a full tank of anything, I've just done a little sort of taste on the drippers just to see what they're like and so far they're okay, uh, if you like the ices they're pretty good, but I will do a full review on each of those juices to let you go through them all. Uh, like I have done for Nova Vapes before. Now the next load of juices, there are quite a lot coming here, so I'm going to run you through them. So, some of you might know of a store called UK E6 Store, and it's a place where I get things from occasionally. I got my Pulse 80 from them, I get my coils from my Avenger from them, I got my Avenger from them. Uh, it's good prices, it's good service, and they're usually really, really quick. But they do also have an eBay store where they do a lot of reductions and a lot of reduced stuff. And what I found on their eBay store, it's not available on their main store, is a mystery box of juice. And this juice pack is 400 milliliters for £13. 
yeah, I didn't slip there. 13 pounds for 400 milliliters. Now there's a couple of downsides here. Uh, first downside, it's in 10 ml bottles, so you're actually getting 40 bottles of juice for 13 pounds, which sounds even better, but then it's 10 mils. And then the other downside, you don't get a choice. There's a select list that you can get from, and uh, you don't get to pick and choose. It's completely random. The only thing you get to choose is your nicotine level, uh, so you can get zero nic, three mil, and six mil. I have, of course, gone for three mil. That's my usual bait level, so that's what I've gone for. And I got the first box. First box came in, went through, tried every juice that was in there, and went, oh, I quite like everything here. There's nothing that I don't like. So. I got another box and the other box came in yesterday and there were actually a couple in that box that I didn't get in the first one. So I'm just going to take you through quickly all these different juices. So these are all 70-30, they're all 3 milligram. Uh, I don't think there's anything that's not. I'm just going to run you through quickly what we've got. So the first, there's different ranges here and the first range is the enhanced range. So the first one there is Tobacco Royale. Not a huge fan of tobacco but I will give, give it a bash and I have given it a bash. Uh, next one is the perp is the blueberry. Uh, that's straightforward. That's just a blueberry. Next one is a uh, purple rain, which is a black currant mint. So it's not too bad. It's um, not a strong mint that's going on there. Uh, the final one is the blue crush, which is a strawberry and mint, and that's more of a menthol mint in that one. Uh, but it's not too bad. I'm not a huge menthol fan, but I am kind of getting into the sort of icy cleansing this at the minute, uh, as can be seen from the Nova Vapes juices. Uh, next selection is from Yog. Uh, these are all sort of yogurt based e-juices, so they're all yogurt with something. So this is a yogurt and banana foster cake for that one. Uh, we've then got the uh, mango and lychee with the yogurt, of course, for that one. And then we've got the uh, pomegranate hibiscus. Hibiscus, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And raspberry, I'll just show you the flavor profile there. It's just at the top, so if I'm saying that wrong, uh, let me know. And uh, finally, the tropical fruit. And the good thing with all of these is they say three on the top. So you know your level of nicotine from that. Uh, the next range is the LDNLIQ. So it's basically London liquid. And each of these is named after an area of London. So we've got the Victoria, which is their tobacco. Once again, it's got three on the top there. Uh, we've got the Brixton, which is a blueberry. And I'm obviously reading these as I'm bringing them up. Uh, this is Chelsea, which is blackcurrant, raspberry, and blueberry. That's a nice little combo. Uh, nice fruity combo going on there. Uh, Primrose, which is strawberry and cream, that should have really been called Wimbledon if they'd been in London areas, but still, uh, strawberry cream, nice refreshing strawberry cream, it's pretty good that one. And finally we got the Soho, which is my favourite from this range, which is the pineapple, guava and mango, so it's a nice fruity combination there. And then we're on to the final section, so there's quite a lot of these, quite a lot of choice that's going on here. And for everything, I've got at least two bottles at this point, and everything I have tried as well. Uh, so the next group is actually the uh, NYC LQ, LIQ, so it's kind of connected, but this time it's New York City. And uh, we've got a few sort of different flavors here. So we've got strawberry milk, and that's quite nice. Uh, we've got a strawberry kiwi yogurt which is quite nice it goes kind of goes with the yog liquids this one uh, and once again these ones have the three on the top as well uh, we've then got milk which is, which is a bit unusual but it does actually taste quite nice and then we're getting into my favorites here uh, so we've got a marshmallow that's definitely up there as one of my favorites from this lot and we've also got a glazed donut so you know me, I like my bakeries, I like my sweet bakery stuff, so glazed donut is right in there. And the final one, which is one that wasn't in the first bo box, but was in the second box, is the pancake. And the pancake is actually the one I've now got in the Avenger. So this is the pancake, you can see it's quite a dark liquid, it's quite a sticky liquid as well. So uh, I'm not sure if this is going to colour up my tank much, but it's still quite good and it is tasting pretty decent.
So that's a lot of juices that have come in that I'm going to be doing reviews on. Uh, definitely going to do reviews on the juices that came with this mod. Uh, the guy, the guy that sold me the mod actually makes his own juices, and he's trying to start up a little business there. So I'm definitely going to do a review on those ones. The Nova Vape juices, yes, will be reviewing those, and all of these other ones from UK E6. So I'm going to try and get reviews for all of them. I might end up grouping them into. Uh, ranges and vaping the range and just doing a full video for each for each one from the range uh but that's uh gonna be an upcoming video so i've got plenty of these liquids to go keep me going for the time being so i'm not going to run out of liquid anytime soon now there is actually one more thing that's on its way which i've not which has not arrived yet so i can't show it yet but i've got a drop dead coming now i've gone a little off and I've actually got a clone of the drop dead. I don't normally go for clones, I don't usually do it, but I was hunting around, hunting around, I couldn't find a drop dead anywhere, and then this showed up on my feed on um, eBay actually, uh, for a clone of the drop dead. Well, at least they were honest and they said it was a clone straight off. A lot of these places they don't tell you it's a clone, you get it and you think it's legit, and then you find out it's not. Uh, like this RDA, it, I knew it was a clone at the price, there was no way it couldn't be a legit one. Uh, this whole mod was 30 quid, including the RDA. And you know that a dead rabbit is about that price, brand new anyway. So I knew that, um, I was pretty certain when I ordered it, it was going to be a clone a dead rabbit anyway. Uh, but I wasn't too concerned because I do have a legit dead rabbit as well. And I can do a comparison between the clone and the real, and I might actually do that video where I do a comparison between the two see what the difference is, see if there's any sort of difference to the use, uh, but the price difference between the drop dead and the clone drop dead is about £20, and that's quite a bit of money, uh, especially when you can get 400 milliliters of e-juice for 13 So, I've gone for this clone, I'm going to give it a try, if it is complete rubbish, I will tell you it's complete rubbish, if it's good, then I'll tell you it's good, but I will still try and get a real one as well so I can get to a comparison, but I'm just having a bit of trouble finding finding one at the moment. And, uh, obviously, as I said in the last video, money has been a bit tight, so clones are the way I'm going at the moment, uh, just to keep the cost down a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty much it for all the vape news stuff that's going on. So quite a bit of vape stuff happening, uh, and there will be a lot of review videos coming up soon. So there's a lot more stuff coming to the channel, which is really good. Uh, other stuff that's been going on, just to give you a quick update. Uh, back to working a more sane schedule. So I've, I'm starting to get more shifts coming in. I was working last night. I'm going back in again today. And I'm working over the weekend as well. Today is Friday. So I'm working tonight. And then I'm working, uh, I think I'm doing 13 hours tomorrow uh, on Saturday. And then Sunday is a day off. So I might actually get something shot on Sunday. And uh, although Sunday is the last day of the CrossFit Games this year, and I have been watching that, so if you're not into CrossFit, no, don't worry about that. But I do quite enjoy watching the games, watching these fit people. I find it quite inspirational. Uh, it makes me get off the couch and do stuff. And that's been pretty good. Uh, so that's going on. Uh, and then next week I'm working. Next week I will be getting my daughter for a long time again. Uh, I've been getting my daughter a lot recently because uh it's been the summer holidays she starts primary school very soon uh i think it's the 15th she actually starts uh in scotland we get a different holiday to england so uh we break up a lot earlier but we go back a lot earlier as well so the english schools are still on holiday but we're back at uh going back to it so uh next week is going to be the last sort of long week that i get her uh for the holiday so i'm going to get her for three days i think uh, picking her up on Monday and then dropping her off, uh, I think, Thursday. So, three or four days that I'm getting her. Uh, so, that's going to be quite a long spell with my daughter again, which does restrict my video making. Uh, I don't like, I don't want my daughter in the videos, uh, especially when I'm doing vape videos. I can't really do a vape video and have my five-year-old daughter running around. They do say that vaping uh, is not pass on. You can't do passive vaping like you can with smoking, but... I, I struggle with that fact. Um, they do say it's proven, but I do struggle with that. Uh, they say you can't get anything from passing vapor, passive vaping, but when you're chucking out a big cloud, like that, and the room starts getting cloudy, because I do vape inside, obviously, and it's 
cloudy and I've got nicotine in my e juice. How is that nicotine not going anywhere? Am I absorbing all of that nicotine? Uh, that's where I struggle. That's the bit I struggle on. Uh, they say it's proven that it's not passive, but uh, I have a bit of trouble with that fact. And I prefer not to. So if I'm doing a vape video with my daughter in the house, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, when she is here, I don't vape in the room with her. I do go out into a different room to vape, uh, which is very difficult because then I get the daddy, where are you? And she comes and follows me. So I don't get to vape as much. I tend to vape more on pods when my daughter's around just because I don't get the big cloud. Now, I did say this in the last video, but we have actually now gone past 100 subscribers, and that is amazing. I want to thank everyone out there who has hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this and you've not hit that button, please do hit that subscribe button. really does help me out. Uh, really shows that you're supporting the channel, supporting what I'm doing here. Also, hit that thumbs up like, video, like for the video. All those likes do help. It does help the channel grow does help the, the more support you give the channel the more videos I can put together the more visibility we get and the more people will come in and that's what we want uh, also go check out my other channel there'll be a link at the end uh, this is my weight loss journey channel uh, I'm trying to lose weight I've been overweight for a long time if you go all the way back to my first video that I put on this channel it was something that I was going to do here on this channel but as the channel grew it became a lot more vape connect vape orientated and a lot more connected to vaping and weight loss and vaping don't really go hand in hand so i'm just going to do the two as separate channels for the time being so if you're interested in weight loss and interested in anything that i'm doing uh how i'm losing weight what i'm doing what exercises what diets that sort of thing you jump on over to that other channel hit that subscribe button over there as well that really helps me out over there really shows the support for what i'm doing and that's something that i am working on I'm trying to get fitter trying to lose weight trying to be healthy and that's something that i'm doing there and part of why i'm doing this is because of vaping uh since i quit smoking since i moved over to vaping i'm feeling a lot better from it and vaping has helped me sort of triggered me into this healthier lifestyle into this healthier mindset and a lot of it i do attribute to starting vaping and that was the first step on the path as it were so the two are connected but i do feel that the content is completely different so uh, that's why the channels are separate but if you want to jump over take a look uh subscribe to it uh you'll see there's a separate link at the end it's also in the description below uh, so, with that, all of that good stuff, all of that uh, brilliant stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, the Twitter is still there. I don't post as much as I really ought to, but uh, it's there. You get notified on Twitter anytime I put up a new video. So, that's the at one purple mongoose. Link is in the description for that. And for the first time, we are going to be using this. So, as ever. Bye.